everyone, Ryan Young, Kama Jiu Jitsu. Hope you're doing well. Let's uh, answer a question in one of our comments. So this is our video, Traditional Jiu Jitsu versus Sport BJJ. Uh, David C., Judo person here, trying to get my head around the world of Jiu Jitsu. It seems funny to me that you refer to Gracie Jiu Jitsu as traditional. What would Japanese Jiu Jitsu be then? Or do you see this as something completely different? So, I did answer him. Don't know what the answer is offhand, but I kind of have an idea since I kind of think one way. So, traditional jujitsu for us, you know, being that I'm purely of the Gracie jujitsu lineage, right? I'm, I haven't done Japanese jujitsu, and that being the case, you know, we talk about we talk about Gracie jujitsu being traditional versus sport jujitsu, sport BJJ or BJJ as being not traditional, right? It's more the modern evolution of it, or modern iter iteration. That's probably a better word. So now when you bring in the third item of Japanese jiu-jitsu, really, who does Japanese jiu-jitsu, right? I know people do, but I don't know anybody who does. So my only experience with Japanese jiu-jitsu, other than reading about it, was in 1992 when I moved to California from Hawaii, right? I, I trained with Hal Center Hawaii, moved to California, was a member of the Gracie Academy, but I had just started a new job, made hardly any money, and all I could afford was two times a week training at the Gracie Academy. I could not afford that third class a week, which I was used to. Actually, I was used to one private and three classes, but I could only afford two classes a week. So what I tried to do is to supplement my training. Um, I did it, I went once to a judo club and I thought, well, that'd be pretty close, let me try it. But there were, you know, the, the, the head instructor, the, the red and white belt, which means I think he was an eighth degree. He was just an um, it just, you know, whatever. I think it's because I came in wearing a jiu-jitsu gi, which is the only gi I had. And, uh, you know, I, I guess he just kind of automatically, you know, looked down upon me and, and treated me as such, which, which sucked for him because I could have been a member of his judo club, but, you know, I don't think he cared, so that's okay. Anyway, I did that, and then after I trained with a brown belt in judo at the time, it was about my size, I thought, mm, no, not what I'm looking for. Um, and then I went to a Japanese jiu-jitsu place. It was at the YMCA, actually. And they, they had Japanese jiu-jitsu classes. So I went to that class, and that particular class I went to had, a, you know, out of about 10 people, I had about five black belts in there. So I thought, ooh, you know, kind of intimidating, right? You got traditional Japanese jiu-jitsu with five black belts in there. So going through the warm-up, and they're not as hard on the warm-ups as we were. Um, as, as I was because at Gracie Torrance it wasn't hard but it, I can't I just just come from Helsins right I moved to California May of 92 so this was within that same month of May so I was still in that mode of doing a hard warm-up which we do here at Kama Jiu Jitsu uh, but they weren't doing a hard warm-up it was very easy warm-up you know a few rolls and they weren't doing it right from what I had learned so I just thought well you know I'll, I'll do this and they tried to do some self-defense stuff and it didn't work right I remember um, the one of the black belts working with me, right, and saying, okay, to escape a headlock, which I did because I knew how to do it. And um, I put him in a headlock, and he says, no, 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 do it this way. And when he tried to escape, I ended up taking his back and putting my arm around his neck and, you know, about ready to choke him out. But I didn't because um, I didn't want to do that to him. But everything that he had done, I easily could beat. So that kind of made it to the point where I'm like, ah, I'm not gonna do this class. Um, so like I said, that's the only exposure I had. Now, w whether it's the real Japanese Jiu Jitsu or not, I don't know. It was just the only exposure that I had to it and it was not a satisfactory experience for me. Um, it didn't fill the void that I was looking to fill, meaning an extra one or two days a week, because I think they train twice a week. So I was, looking at, I was looking for some extra class time in addition to what I was getting over the Gracie Academy. So that's really how we look at it so for me being in the, the brazilian jiu-jitsu world you have traditional which is gracie jiu-jitsu and you have sport bjj which is non-traditional to me so to, to look at on the third leg here on the japanese traditional side uh, that's kind of how i look at it you know and i'm not a judo guy judo guys would look at probably japanese jiu-jitsu as their traditional um whereas on the jiu-jitsu on the gracie jiu-jitsu side it's Gracie Jiu Jitsu traditional. So I hope that answers your question. So that's really, you know, all my thoughts are on it, David C. Um, let me know what you think. Anyway, that's all I got for you.
come see us at our studios, Irvine, California, Flower Mound, Texas, Austin, Texas. Also, you can come see us at KamaJiu-Jitsuonline.com. And uh, hope to see you soon. Take care. Happy training. Bye now.